guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with something very exciting but also kind of terrifying because I'm worried if I hate this book you guys are going to hate me so like please don't hate me. But I asked you guys on Twitter if you would be interested in coming along with me for my first time ever reading Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Harry Potter by JK Rowling. Yeah, I'm 21 years old and I've never actually read Harry Potter. I've seen all the movies, like I know what's happening, and I know the storyline, but I've never actually read the book. So everybody says I need to read the book, so today is the day it is happening. Totally just gonna have spoilers in this because like everybody and their mother has read Harry Potter, so realistically you all know the storyline and it won't be any fun if I can't give any spoilers and my genuine reaction to them, so... Spoilers ahead, if you haven't read Harry Potter, then don't watch this video. If you have read Harry Potter, then you can watch it and uh, see my first experience. So, I'm gonna go read and we're gonna, we're gonna come back when I have something to say. It's like 40 minutes later and I just finished chapter three. I have one complaint about this book right now. One complaint, that's it, that's pretty good for me. In the book, it says that Harry has strikingly green eyes, but in the movie, which is what I've seen, so that's like who I picture are the characters from the movie, okay? Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter, he has brown eyes. So, one of you, JK Rowling or Warner Brothers, I don't know who produces it, one of you is lying to me, which one is it? I would assume it would be Warner Brothers because J.K. Rowling wrote the book, but like, why didn't you put contacts into little Harry's eyeballs to make them green and not brown? See, these are the things that bother me. Stupid, I know, but like, <laughs> it bothers me so much. Because all in my head when I'm reading, I'm like, the lies. There's so many lies right now. I just, I can't. Other than that, I'm enjoying it. It's entertaining. I hate the Dursleys, which I'm assuming is a point, but like, I just want to strangle them and I just want to give little Harry Potter a little hug. So I'm going to go read some more and I'll come back when I'm done. Well, not when I'm done, but I'll come back when I've read more and uh, tell you my thoughts on the next chapters. So I just got to the part where Hagrid is like, you're a wizard, Harry. And I am, I am just like, childhood. Oh God, what have I missed? So much. And I'm just like, I need to know more. And I'm actually like in love with Hagrid. That's my update for now. Like the weird thing is I honestly don't even remember the movies that much so like it's kind of like I'm experiencing the story for the first time because I didn't even remember half of the stuff that's already happened like the boa constrictor I didn't even remember that was a thing maybe it wasn't in the movies or something but like I'm so excited guys like this is actually actually really exciting you guys don't have to hate me because I'm actually liking the story <laughs> I was worried that I wouldn't like it but it's good so far so I just finished chapter five which is when Harry gets Hedwig. Why I didn't know that Hedwig was a girl I don't know I always assumed that it was a boy but no Hedwig is a little girl owl. Just finished chapter six which is the journey from platform nine and three quarters. Honestly the entire time I was reading about it about how like Harry has to run into the wall to get to the platform I was just thinking about how funny it would be if he smashed into it. Is that bad? I feel like that's bad but I was giggling. It mentioned Hermione and I just want to say like Hermione kind of bothers me. Like I feel like maybe it's just because it's the first time meeting her but she's kind of annoying and I feel like I just haven't got to the part where she becomes like the great Hermione that everybody loves but like right now I ain't liking her. I'm sorry unpopular opinion. And Draco I hate so far. He's kind of a little snob and I want to like punch him in the face. When Scabbers, Ron's rat like attacked them I was like get it Scabbers get it and I was so happy about it. And Neville's also kind of annoying right now. He's like crying because he lost his toad. Like just keep tracking your toad man or don't get a toad because like why would you not get a cat if you could? I'm just saying. And they just arrived at Hogwarts and I'm super excited because Hagrid's back. I love him so much. And they're doing the sorting hat in the next chapter, which means I actually get to figure out what the houses mean because I literally still have no idea what they mean. I asked on Twitter what house you guys thought I was in and most of you said Hufflepuff. And I don't know what that means, but I'm hoping it's a good thing. I want to be a Slitherpuff because I just want to be called Slitherpuff. But I don't think you can like hybrid houses. But if I could, I would want to be a Slitherpuff. And I'm pretty sure like that doesn't make sense because it's like Hufflepuff is like supposed to be like the good guys, but they're like kind of like really nice and like all that stuff. And then Slytherin's like the evil guys, right? Something like that. I'm going to find out in the next chapter, but I feel like you can't be good and evil at the same time. I'm going to take the Pottermore test once I'm done the book and we'll see what I actually am. So stay tuned for that. One more thing that's bothering me. Do we ever get to like figure out what's in the package 
that Hagrid got from Gringotts and like the dog is guarding because the like it's driving me crazy I really want to know what it is and I can't remember if in the movies you figure out what it is but like I need to know it's driving me insane and I can't do anything with my life because I want to know what's in that damn parcel I just finished chapter 10 which is where we learn about Quidditch so I'm like really excited because now I actually understand all the positions and stuff so when people are talking about it because everybody talks about Harry Potter and they always talk about like what position they are in Quidditch and the rules and all that stuff and I literally have no idea what they're talking about so now I can be like me and you I, I understand you I know what you're talking about. I now know the rules of Quidditch, so that's one bonus of this experience, but I still have no idea what the houses mean. Like, I read the Sorting Hat chapter and I still don't understand it. All I know is Gryffindor is like courage, Hufflepuff is like loyal and patient, Slytherin are like the evil guys, and then Ravenclaw are like the smart people? Is, is that right? I still don't understand it. Help me. Also, they just fought the mountain troll, and I'm just gonna say it now. I wish that it had eaten Hermione. I'm sorry, still an unpopular opinion, but I still don't like her. I find her so dang annoying, and I'm just waiting for the moment where I actually like her, because I'm assuming that that's gonna happen, because, like, everybody loves Hermione, so I don't know if it's gonna be in, like, the second book or the third book or something, but as of right now, still don't like her, still really annoying. I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about it, but, like, kudos to her for, like, getting Ron and Harry out of trouble, like, that was cool, but, like, still don't like her that much. So I just finished the Quidditch chapter, one. Snape's an asshole. I hate him. I don't know what his whole story is. Because honestly, I don't remember the movies anymore. So, like, I don't remember why he doesn't like Harry, but, like, what an asshole. Two, I like Hermione a little bit more now when she, like, lit Snape on fire. Like, that was kind of cool. And then three, who the heck is Nicholas Flamel? I don't remember him at all. So, like, what does he have to do with the package? And also, what is in the damn package? And also, I love how the dog's name is Fluffy. <laughs> That's amazing. And I love how it's Hagrid's because Hagrid's my bae. I feel so stupid right now because I finally figured out what's in the package. Obviously, you know, it's the Philosopher's Stone. Because it's called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Why? This did not clue into my head. I don't know. But the concept of a Philosopher's Stone and how it's like makes you immortal and stuff, that's cool. I never knew that that was a thing. They just got rid of Norbert, Hagrid's dragon. And I'm really upset about it because I want to see more Norbert and the fact that its name is Norbert makes me happy. It's so cute. And we now know who Nicholas Flamel is. And I feel like a 600 year old wizard would be dead by now so like he must have the Philosopher's Stone or like a concept like the Philosopher's Stone. Am I wrong? I don't know but like he's 600 years old so he's gotta be immortal by now. Cause like that's old as shit. Old as dirt. Guys it's over. I finished it and I'm so sad it's over. I don't even own any of the other books so like I'm literally going to the thrift store in like five minutes to go get all of the other books because I'm obsessed with this. So good. Oh my god. Like, 100% I can see why this is like everybody's favorite. And like, if I had read this when I was like 14 or like 12, like everybody else, like, it would have been my favorite book. Like, by far. It it's so cool. I'm so excited to read the rest of it. Like, the ending, I was like, what? Like, I didn't remember that at all about Professor Quirrell and like he has freaking two heads like what Voldemort's back like what what and like I know that he's not actually like gone because like there's six more books so like I'm excited oh my god why did I wait so long to read this you're all probably in the comments being like we told you we told you it was the best book and you know what okay you're right okay you know congratulations thank you for joining me on my journey and if you guys want I can do the other six books in my reaction for it. I don't know if you guys would actually be interested in it, but like, I love Harry Potter now. So, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!